Beaver Creek Rodeo Royalty in the studio with me, and they promised to bring an animal this this week because it is the final week of the Beaver Creek Rodeo, and I was so excited. I thought maybe they were going to bring a pig, but they brought like the second best thing to a pig, so I'll take it. I have Queen Brielle and Princess Cameron. Girls, thank you so much for coming in. And Maggie. <laughs> Maggie. She's so cute. <laughs> Can you see her? <laughs> there you go. Come thank here. Thank you for Just having us. Come over here. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so there are three really big points happening with the rodeo this week. There is Miss Rodeo Colorado and her lady-in-waiting are coming to our rodeo tonight. Which is so exciting. Which is so exciting because it is the last rodeo of the season. It is, so all of the end-of-year awards are going to be handed out that these cowboys and cowgirls have been competing for all season, so you know that the competition is going to be at its highest level. Because some of them are really neck and neck. Which, I mean, it's makes close. the rodeo so much better to watch when they're really, really going for it and truly, like, 100% competing off of each other. Yes. Oh, yeah. So much more fun that way. And so they're going to be doing a meet and greet after the rodeo as well so that mm -hmm. I mean, people can get to meet you guys, they, of course, yes, we, every week, but then also get to meet Miss Rodeo Colorado. Also, yes. if you happen to be up at the Gold Dust Festival up in the Beaver Creek Village, you'll see Kelly Stockton, Miss Rodeo Colorado for 2019, her lady-in-waiting Haley Fredrickson, and my beautiful princess and I. Which is perfect. You guys will be over there running around. We will. There's a pre-party and a post-party, so mm -hmm. there's something for everyone. We will. There is, and we'll be up there at the pre-party saying hi to Bogart the Bull. And then at the post-party, we won't be there because we have to take care of our horses. But I think you might see some royal rodeo royalty in the crowd. Which is incredible. So it is the final rodeo, like you guys said. It big is. competition. It's a little sad, though. I'm going to miss is. it. The end of a summer. Yeah, it is. But then the next one will come around before you know it. <laughs> and so next year, since you're going to college, what are you going to do for rodeo? Well, I'm definitely going to be back here in the summer, and you'll probably see me in and around the stands, and I might end up working at the Beaver Creek Rodeo, probably not doing royalty, but you might see me helping out some of the food vendors or in back of house. Nice. So you'll be there. And next year, are you going to be part of the rodeo? I do want to try again. I want to try out for Queen this year, uh, the coming year. Um, I think that'll be a good step up because I've done Princess for two years now. I mean, incredible. And I'm so sad that our interviews are no longer going to be on Thursdays. And I mean, like, we should just bring animals every time. <laughs> oh, you could come up here. I mean, you could totally come snuggle me. Come here. She's like, no, okay. there's so many things. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so cute. Sit down. So after this, you guys are going to go wash your horses mm -hmm. and then get ready for the rodeo. And then you'll see us at the Gold Dust pre-party. So we'll be there like 2.30, yeah. 3, 2.30 to 3-ish, and then heading on over to the rodeo on the shuttle. Perfect. Girls, thank you so much for coming in. Congratulations to getting through another rodeo season. It's awesome. So many more things coming both of you guys' way. College for you, maybe Queen next year. Yes. I'm excited to see how it all works out. Make sure that you go to the rodeo. This is the last one of the summer, so if you haven't been to any of them, you need to make sure that you make it out to this one. It's going to be perfect. And make sure you go say hi to these girls while you still can. Coming up next, we've got more Good Morning Vale, so stay tuned.